welcome back to STL Live. My guest is Judith Cullen, Executive Director of Fox Performing Arts Charitable Foundation. And we're talking all things kids and performing arts and, and you helping them build their careers and, and push them along uh, through the Fox Charitable Foundation. So actually the uh, teen talent competition, how, how is that even put together? Like where do these teens come from? Well, that's the best part. If you have a budding performer who's just dying to get on stage, right. this is where they do it. Okay. If they like to juggle or tell jokes or sing, act, Whatever variety the acts. We've oh. had hula hoop people. We've had aerialists. We've had people of all different types come and wow. they can perform. And it's, it's a wonderful process. They have preliminary... Uh, judging and there's a panel of judges that mm. not just scores them but also gives them tips and coaches them. Oh nice, okay. And the winners from that go to a semi-final okay. where they are re-coached and re-scored and the winners from that, the last 15, mm -hmm. the top ones, get to perform on the Fox stage. Wow, that's a lot of stage. So where are the preliminaries held? Like what kind of venue? Uh, usually like at a Kirkwood High School. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's a smaller stage and then they get this humongous stage they have to command. So do you pack the house in something like this? Is this well, that's another free event. Oh, okay. So we open it up to the public and okay. they can come and watch their favorite uh, uh, teenager or just to give them a cheer. Or who's next and, and what do you know of any famous people who might have come out of this? Yes. Uh, Yvette Liu okay. is one of our uh, finalists who went on to uh, join the touring cast of Hamilton. Oh, nice. Look at that. So, I mean, this is definitely a place where budding artists and people who are next get some of their training. It's a training ground for some of the young people here in St. Louis if they have a performing arts background and they want to continue in that, in that realm. Very, very nice. So, I don't know. It's so many things. How do you, how do you get in touch? How old do you have to be? We... We focus on grades 9 through 12. Okay. And so just they just uh, high schoolers. Right. And they sign up on our website, okay. www.foxpacf.com. Okay. PACF is Performing Arts Charitable Foundation. And that registration will start September 1st. Okay. Totally free, no registration fee. Okay. This is for the city. This so, is what the foundation does for the city. Got you. So you'll register and then you have to perform. What, how long is the, the audition performance when you go in initially? We'd like you to keep it to four minutes okay. because we have a lot of people we want to see. Okay. And uh, it, it's uh, three times. So the preliminary, the semi, and then the final performance. We do some rehearsal before the final performance so okay. we can make sure everybody's up to snuff. Yeah, because it's a, it's a whole show you got to put on for these, these people that are coming in to watch it for free. So you're putting on a whole production for people and all of these kids have come across like the entire city, the Metro East area. Where are they coming from? Every 50 miles from the arch in all directions. Wow. That's our service area. And they get to work with Tony Parisi, who is a Broadway uh, director, right. script writer, choreographer. So the show is top notch. Nice. And they do different. So you all pick what they, they put on in the scene, the teen talent competition or no, that's something else. They, they, do, they do their work, okay. but there are, there are segues okay. between. So we make sure that the audience is completely entertained. So it's really like almost like The Voice live or something, but it's St. Louis. But we did it first. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they stole from you. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, look at that. So you know what? I love it. So like she said, if you've got a budding uh, talent in your house, I know I do, but she's only eight, so she's not Aww. ready yet. But you know, get them the training. Do you think that's important that the kids get the training um, and as they grow older so they get comfortable to be able to perform in large audiences like that? Absolutely. And we actually have other programs that we'll talk about at another time. Okay. We have Broadway uh, master classes. Okay. We have Kids Night at the Fox where people can come and interact with the cast and fun activities. This year it's at Stomp on November 15th on a Friday. Nice. We have all kinds of wonderful educational encores after the show on certain uh, nights at the Fox oh. where you can meet the cast. So there's lots of different programs. And we, we also really want people to, to go to their own communities and, and, and meet your dancing teachers and your music teachers, have your garage bands, meet musicians that can, that can help you along. We want happy kids so we have happy adults and vibrant communities. That's what it's all about. So do you do any work inside the schools per se? Because I know a lot of the performance arts programs are getting taken out of schools. Do you actually go inside of schools now or no? We, we support different, lo uh, different venues who do that, different performing arts uh, organizations that do that. Okay. We, we also uh, 
partnered with Hamilton. Hamilton did a week-long study at different schools, and they're coming back in the 2020 season. I love it. So it really excites people to be part of the theater, to see what they can do. And if they just become patrons, that's okay. If they want to be performers, we can help them with that. Well, you know what? Make sure you take advantage. Like she said, they're doing it for the city. So this is where you need to go. You can visit Fox. PECF.org to learn more about the Fox Performing Arts Charitable Foundation and the Rising Stars show Showcase event. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us. Thank you so much.